Hi, I'm going to walk you through the exercise of the Introduction to Python course of Upmax. And the exercise is called Hello Turtles, and it's about how to import a Python package, how to search for modules uh, to get everything running. There's a simple script, we're going to get it to run, but if we are naive it will fail, so we need to load a module. So I'm going to walk you through this. So exercise one is to fail at running a first program, all right? So we should fail here. It's expected for us to fail, but we should observe the error message. So first we're gonna take a look at what the exercise, what we actually need to do. So we should rehearse scripting and script. So try to import a Python package, sure, and observe which error. So we should fail, we will fail. I will show you how it looks, how to fail. So we need to read section 3.1, so let's go to this book, How to Think Like a Computer Scientist in Python, chapter 3, Hello Little Turtles, and it's this script that we try to get running on a cluster. All right. Uh, so that is the exercise, let's go back to the page. Copy-paste the first script in that section 2 script, sure. Run the script and verify it does not run. All right, so let's do it. So I'm going to log in to Rackham, SSH, Richel at rackham.upmax.uu.se Note already I will fail because I don't use minus x. So we're going, going to do something graphical and for graphical you need a minus x as a flag. It's called x forwarding. I'm going to be stupid and I, I'm going to pretend I don't know this and I'm just going to log in regularly so we can see what happens if you do it. So I'm now logged in to Rackham using SSH and I'm going to make this script. So um, let's call it like turtle, dot tur my turtle, let's, let's make it something like, like up. So I use nano to copy paste this text, so there's the, there's the text, I already have it. Now just control shift V to paste it. And I already noticed that when you use, when you copy paste code from the, this website, it adds spaces at the start of each line. Uh, that will give you errors. Oh, exactly. So maybe I should keep them in, just that you see it. Also, this already gives an error. So with a control O, you can write to a file. I did that. Here you see, write out. That's control O. And now I'm going to press control X to exit, control X to exit. Now I'm going to run this script. And we've already learned how to run a, po a Python script. I'm going to do module load Python 3. And let's see which version, 3, I think it was 11, that's my favorite, that's the most recent one. So I'm going to load Python 3 latest version. I know this is the latest version with module spider, you can do that. And now I'm going to run the script Python 3, my turtle, my turtle, here. So it's running and it's completely failing. Um, and the error message here is clear, it says indentation error unexpected indent and that's exactly that one space in front of every line so let's fix that first my turtle and i'm going to take away all these first spaces there control save control x i'm going to save yes enter and now i can run the, the, the now the program has correct indentation let's see let's run it and here we already see a proper error so in the script, in the first line, it says import turtle. Turtle is a Python package, um, between brackets, formerly it's called a Python module. But because on Upmax we you have a module system, we call the things that Python uses packages. And that's common with all the languages to bracket close. So here we import a Python package called turtle. and that seems to work to some extent, but then it imports T Kinter um, with an underscore in front of it for some reason. And it says if this fails, your Python will not be configured for T K. No module named T Kinter. So this is how it looks like if you don't load the right modules to get this to work. We've now finished exercise one. We've ran the script, we verified it did not run, the error message makes sense to me, uh, no module named underscore take enter, um, and that makes sense, apparently 
but because I'm used to it, I feel, uh, I understand now that sure Turtle does exist. It, you can import it, but it needs this Python package to be present. It's not present, so I need to somehow get this package. So now in exercise two, we're going to fix this. We're going to make the script work. So what we need to do is to load a module. And what I'm going to type on the upmax class, I'm going to just load, search for the module take enter without the underscore to see if there's already a module that has something like this. And with module spider, you you search through it and. Um, and this can sometimes take a bit of time because it looks for like we have hundreds or if not thousands of modules so it's now going through and, and the first time it's it, it builds up some kind of lookup table for itself for me so i can do module spider way quicker the second time but for now we need to wait until it has finished building up uh, this this, this lookup table or whatever it is doing uh, there we have it so apparently there's a module, yeah, it says tkinter module build with the Python build system. So I'm going to load this module, this is the latest version. Module load and then try the script again. However, this fails because this module needs um, something to be loaded first. And it says do model sp module spider with that version to see how to load it. Right, so I'm going to just module spider and that thing and then it gives me documentation of what is needed to load it here you will need to load all modules on any one of these lines below before this module is available to load so just going through that that's a super long list one thing you always do when um, when you want to learn load something complex you load bioinfo tools that enables opens up a lot of possibilities the second thing is let, let's do this first module load bioinfo tools and then we try our script again it will fail but i'll show you how it will fail bam so we have now python loaded and we have bioinfo tool loaded so when i do module list i can see whatever is loaded and maybe now i can run my script Let's, let's try it out. Maybe some magic happened. No, no magic happened. I can still not find this module named Tiki Enter. But maybe I can now load it. So now I'm loading this Tiki Enter module, uh, but still we need something more. Luckily, so, that, so let's go back to the help and th there's, there is a module we need to load. What some people will notice is that these are some some big tools like like big software packs like open foam um, or, um, or rosetta or singularity um, so that won't be it if we load uh, a singular siesta that won't probably solve our problem we are looking for something general to get this simple thing running we don't expect to be able to load a super big package so we need to think, and in this list, there is one thing that stands out is this WRF-Python. Like it is probably something that make Pyth makes Python libraries work. So we're going to load that thing uh, instead of a very big tool. So we do, we do a smart approach and maybe this is all that is needed to load TK enter. And you'll see it worked. That means if I run my script now, it may work. However, there is a problem here, and I already told you what is the problem. Um, there is no X forwarding enabled um, because I've wrong, logged in with the wrong way. And I'm going to log out of Rackham. Now I'm going to enable X forwarding, Richel at rackham.upmax.uu.se. Now I'm going to do load the modules and I just remember them. So I'm going to use Python. So I can just sc scroll up too, but uh, module load Python 3.3.11.4, I think. There, no, I think that will be it. Module load bio info tools. 
then we need, need it to load this other thing there wrf python it's loaded then we need to load tk enter there so now i have loaded all four modules just by remembering and if i now run my script due to x4 warning there's a window popping up and here we see what it does so this is the thought process to get this script to work um, yeah, so now you did it. I've shown you all the things that can go wrong. Um, you'll probably bump into some of them sometimes, uh, but I hope I've shown you, give you some a bit of help how to um, survive in these kind of situations. All right, that ends this video. How to get a piece of code to work on an upmax cluster uh, from some Python code. I wish you a very good day. Bye.